Crayfish pattern. Now, how come I'm using I'm using a barbless suit here? It's called a a hannock, and this is a size six. Use whatever hook you like, whatever you like to use for carp, because it's a carp fly. Now I'm going to use some chain bead, and fluorescent orange, just to correct the, basically the to flip the the hook upside down. If you look, I get you one here. This is one I tied earlier. It's a basic sort of shrimpy type fly, if you want to call it that. There's the eyes, and the eyes are actually tied on top. What happens when you do that? It causes the, the hook to sit up like this. So that gives it its weight, and there you go. Now, this, the chain bead is painted, a friend of mine paints these, just a fluorescent orange. Use a pair of pliers and separate two of the beads together. There you go. That's them ready to tie on. Now, the thread I'm using is a uni thread. Now you could use a 6 o or an 8 o it's entirely up to yourself. 6 o would probably be better. Now, fire on thread just goes with the rest of the fly. Just simply figure eight this on top of the hook shank. Figure eight the thread through it. Now what I like to do is to strengthen it up. Put some super glue in first. And while we're figure eight, this is gluing it onto the shank, making it really strong. Now you could add extra weight to the fly by putting lead on the body, but I'm just going to leave it as is. And you simply take th thread down. Now I'm going to go slightly round the bend a bit. I just want the just a bit of flash in the materials to sit, I say slightly round, and so it's sitting slightly up because that's the that shape that you want. Now I'm just using an orange crystal flash here. Uh, so like four strands I'm taking off. Now the length of the flash is only about the length of the hook. Just tie it over the back. Two or three turns down, about say two to three mil from the eye. Uh, sorry, from the back. Drop it back, this basically makes it really strong. And then trim. I lay that down. Now, I'm going to be using a hackle, just a, it's a saddle grizzle. I'm using one of these, it's a hen saddle. One of the bigger feathers from the top. And if you look at it, there's some basically like chickaboo and marabou at the bottom. That's going to be at the back. Just take away what you don't need and then catch that on the side, nice and tight, down that area where you tied in the flash. Now you get some super glue, just on top and the bottom. This will protect the hackle. Now the first turn or so, just take some of the fibres away. So you can get it started without it st actually sticking to the actual the hook. That's where it gets you gets you going. And then looking probably about four four turns, or to basically you run out of the fluff to get towards the hackle. Now that's plenty. Nice and tight. Tie it down. And then trim away. Anything going towards the beads in the eye, just draw it back and fold it back, which will make it nice and strong. Going here, now you have to turn your hook upside down. Basically, bring it round. I usually bring the material in out of the way. Just be careful, catch it there. This is where you really got to watch the hook. Make sure you can tidy up a wee bit before you do anything else. And that's it in the hook in the vise itself. 
Now I'm going to put in some two eyes, rubber legs. These are what we call perfect rubber. In this case it's fluorescent orange. Now perfect rubber is made by a company called Hedron. You get all different colours. Now what I've done is I've cut two, 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 two inch lengths and to give the impression these are going to be legs obviously and as well they're going to be eyes. Now the two eyes, what I've done is I've dipped them into black varnish and then I've dipped them into clear varnish, two coats of clear and that gives that lovely bulbous eye that you get. Now what I'm going to do is tie them in at the back on top of the shank, a couple of turns just to basically secure them or set them in where you want. Now there's the way I've got them sitting, just crossed on the top. And then, nice and tight, a few turns in. At this point you can actually move them about if you don't want them or you don't like the way they're sitting. And then secure that, there's fine. Now we've got some seals for here to separate both the eyes and the legs. And we've got some fluorescent orange seals for between them. Or any dubbing that you have, just put a nice fluorescent orange would be is ideal. Bring it between the eyes and the legs, nice and tight. Now, what I'm going to do is to bring the eyes up. Just be careful with the point of the hook and put a few turns in here. Now, the hackle we broke off earlier on, I'm going to tie it back in as a hem, just bear some of the stem and tie it in front of the eyes. Just lift the eyes out of the way. It's a wee bit fiddly, you've just got to take your time and be careful, as I say, the point of the hook. There we are. That's nice. Get yourself some UTC. This is some wire here and it's the uh, hot orange and small the ultra wire this is to protect the hackle just basically tighten the body up and we take the thread up tie it in it's important that you tie in the rib because it is going to hold the pie together and then run it back down and then build your body up using the seals for don't be shy with it just get it onto the thread now you could use a fritz or whatever, whatever you like. And slide up. So you build it up, take it up towards the eyes. Don't be shy with it, I'm silly. You can build up a nice carrot shaped body with the seals for. There you go, that's it sitting the way I like it. So with the eyes straight up, then there's basically lots of movement in it because the eyes do move and the sort of crayfish and shrimp patterns and then some more dubbing just to get you down towards your beads or your dumbbells that point there and I'm going to use a small pair of hackle pliers bringing the grizzle hackle down you can do a turn at the top and then just bring it through you don't have to be too fussy with it, as long as you reach the chain beads you'll be fine two or three turns in make sure that's secure bring your wire through so just bring your wire through 90 degrees from the hook catching a lot of material a good half a dozen turns or more and then secure it in. Once you've got a good few turns in there, you can bend and break off the wire. Now just to tidy up the eye area, just get some more of the, the seals for. And do like a figure eight through the eyes. Just watch your, your hackle at this point and your fingers with the, the point of the hook. And then just 
So you figure it through. Because you're using fire orange thread, you'll not see the any spaces. It should be fine. Now once you're finishing with the, the seal spanners, the figure eight through it, bring your thread to the eye, and then whip finish. Nice and tight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Plenty. Trim away your thread. And basically tidy up. Now what I'm going to do here first, I'm going to bring some of the hackle down either side. Bring your velcro in. Bring the seal spur into the hackle. And then you can trim away some of the hackle on top. Just be careful with your eyes, you don't cut them off. It's easy done. And that'll give the impression that you're your crayfish. I think all you've got to do is really come in and varnish up. Just put some a couple of coats of varnish. You're never going to get a perfect head, but you're going to get a neat enough head for the fish to see it as a, hopefully as a small crayfish. And there you go. You can spend a little more time just putting the shape into it. But there you go. Simple wee fly to tie. Send the looks apart. You can see the eyes. And you do get a lot of movement. You're fishing along the edges and either spotting fish but you can see when the eyes, when they're pulled, you want them a good distance from the shanks where they actually move, and the legs certainly move. A wee bit of flash just to give it that bit of glitz that you get, and the softness of the marabou type fibre you get at the bottom of the hackle. And there you go. And that there's basically your hot orange crayfish. Thank mm -hmm. you.